You might think you know what turtles are like. You have an idea in your head of what a turtle is, and that image is probably rarely proven wrong. But here we are, about to prove it very wrong. These are 20 turtles you won't believe actually exist. Number 20. Mata Mata Turtle The Mata Mata Turtle is a resident of South America and is an unusual looking sort of creature with an especially knobby shell and large flat head along with a wide mouth and long snout. Quite the curious looking beast, right? Almost kind of like a Pokemon. The Mata Mata shell is what makes this chap stand out from the crowd. It's large and gnarly with big spherical cone-shaped knobbles that are poking out of it. This poor old turtle is no oil painting, that's for sure. Its neck is flat and wide and covered with warts and bumpy skin, and it has a triangular-shaped squashed head and a long snout that it uses as a snorkel. They have eyes on the sides of their weird heads, but they've also got poor vision, using instead their fleshy flaps on the side of their head to sense movements in the water. Whoa! Got him! They can feel vibrations that may warn them of a predator nearby, and they also have extremely sensitive hearing. So do yourself a favor and don't go saying any mean things about them, even under your breath, because they will hear you. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Giant Galapagos Tortoises Now saddle up, cause we're heading south. Thought the tortoises were named after the islands? Well, think again. These big guys are called Galapagos tortoises on the account of their huge shell. The word is Spanish for saddleback, so the tortoises are what name the islands. Or maybe that was all the colonialism. Who can really say? All we know for sure is that these tortoises are seriously, seriously big. How big, you may ask? Well, strap in because they're seriously chunky boys. These incredible big animals can weigh up to 700 pounds, even though they only eat a vegetarian diet of grasses, fruits, and plants. And perhaps the thing that most people know about tortoises is that they live very long lives. That is certainly true of the Galapagos tortoise. They can live for at least 150 years. And want to know what was happening 150 years ago? Well, Thomas Edison applied for his first patent, Memorial Day was observed for the first time, and the first ever hole-in-one would be achieved in a game of golf. It's crazy to think that a tortoise born in the same year that helium was first detected could still be around right here, right now, in 2022. This is made possible by the fact that they have no natural predators when they're grown beyond about a year, and they can go for long periods of time without any food or water. In fact, the main risk to these animals is human behavior. They used to be hunted for their meat and shells, and in the present day, the destruction of their habitats and over-tourism has contributed to a decline in their numbers. However, these gentle giants have to be one of the most amazing examples of a massive animal, and oh, they're just so adorable as well, aren't they? Number 18. Alligator Snapping Turtle the crazy-looking alligator snapping turtle is like an insane combination of dinosaur and pine cone. This creature looks like nothing else on Earth. If you happened upon one, you may be surprised indeed and feel compelled to run away immediately. But try not to panic, because sometimes things are not actually as scary as they may appear. This is the largest freshwater turtle to be found in North America, and it mostly lurks in rivers, canals, and lakes. They may have a bit of a reputation as a dangerous sort of animal, but they're unlikely to attack a human unless it's in self-defense. So just be nice and try not to disturb them, and hopefully you'll be all right. However, if you do happen to have an encounter with an especially cross alligator snapping turtle, then you could be in for a very unpleasant experience. Their bite force is an extraordinarily powerful 1,000 pounds, which can inflict a bite that will literally snap your bones in half. 
So watch your step, because these turtles like to spend their time submerged and can stay underwater for up to 50 minutes without needing to resurface. That means they can be hard to spot, and you really wouldn't want to accidentally poke your toes into one of these guys' mouths. Number 17. Rhode Island Snake-Necked Turtle Driven to the brink of extinction by the illegal international pet trade, the Rhode Island snake-necked turtle is a rare and unusual looking animal. They do indeed have really long necks, so long in fact that they can't retract them into their shells like other species of turtle do. These guys actually tuck their necks in sideways instead. These were originally found across Australia, New Guinea, and the Indonesian Rhode Island. The trouble for this species is that it's only found in three distinct locations, and that makes it difficult for the highly sought after animal to keep its population at a healthy level. As the snake-necked turtle continues to be in demand as a pet, and therefore also continues to make some less than scrupulous individuals a whole bunch of money, the hope for its future is in decline. There are currently some captive breeding efforts that are underway in an attempt to prevent the total collapse of this species numbers, but time will tell if these are successful and if these super rare animals will ever make it. Number 16. Pig-Nosed Turtle these turtles really do have pig noses, or maybe I'm just looking at it all wrong and pigs actually have turtle noses. Who can say, really? Also known as the Fly River Turtle, these creatures have four legs that are like flippers that they use to propel themselves through the water, and they can actually create a surprisingly powerful forward motion which is their best defense against a predator. Their hind legs are used as a kind of rudder which helps the turtles move efficiently through the water and hopefully out of harm way. The other most obvious feature is the aforementioned pig nose of these reptiles. This is a large and fleshy snout on the front of its unique head, and the snout is apparently what allows the turtle to breathe when it's at the surface of the water, while being able to keep the rest of its body submerged and away from the danger of being spotted by potential predators. These remarkable animals also have a way of taking oxygen from the water by using something in its throat when it's beneath the surface. Number 15. Spiny Turtle These are a unique species of freshwater turtle which are native to Southeast Asia. Their shells are unusually sharp and pointy, especially when they're young. As these turtles age though, their shells just seem to get worn down and become smoother in time. The spiny turtle is mainly found in the hilly environments near small streams and in rainforests, and the chaps are mainly carnivorous. Their long necks and flat shape make them efficient and rapid swimmers, which is all useful for catching prey. They're also the proud owners of some extremely useful webbed feet, which make the spiny turtle very good at swimming without expending a whole lot of energy. Within the ecosystem, these increasingly endangered turtles play a really important role. As predators, their habits are essential to keep the balance for all the life in their habitat. The main threat to these turtles continues to be, of course, human behavior. And the trouble for these turtles is that they're considered to be a tasty sort of dinner for many people, and that's having a seriously negative effect on their ability to stay alive. Number 14. Leatherback Sea Turtle the leatherback sea turtle is known for its shell, which is leathery in appearance, obviously, but it's actually composed of a thin but extremely tough layer of skin that's given strength by loads of tiny little bone plates. They're actually the only species of sea turtle that doesn't have a hard shell. These unusual turtles have such delicate jaws that they can only eat a diet of soft-bodied creatures, and anything at all crunchy or challenging would damage their flimsy jaws. so the leatherback's dinner of choice is almost exclusively jellyfish. It is a weird anomaly that, despite the fact that jellyfish have hardly any nutritional value and are composed almost entirely of water, the leatherback seems to be able to thrive and remain active. They're found mainly in open ocean with sightings as far north as Alaska and as far to the south as the southernmost tip of the African continent. Number 13. African Pancake Tortoise Funnily enough, the African pancake tortoise has a thin, flat shell. I mean, who could have guessed it? And yes, this is a tortoise and not a turtle. 
Tortoises live on land, turtles live in water. Don't muddle them up, please. Tortoises cannot swim. And that's the end of my public service announcement. Thank you for attending my TED Talk. Because they're easier to eat than other species of tortoise, these animals must use different skills in order to evade their predators. They only grow to be about 7 inches, but are faster than most tortoises and are also much more flexible, which can allow them to escape capture. They're well adapted to their environment and their shells provide them with pretty decent camouflage. These flat little guys are native to East Africa and they can be found in Zimbabwe, Tanzania, and Kenya, where they mostly hang around in rocky hills and savanna areas. They're mostly solitary animals but may occasionally be found in small groups or pairs, living in the crevices of rocky hillsides. The African pancake tortoise eats a diet of vegetation and dry grasses, especially succulents. Their diet may also include nuts and seeds, and occasionally they've been known to nibble on insects. Number 12. Radiated Tortoise this native of Madagascar is considered to be one of the world's most beautiful tortoises. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that all tortoises are beautiful. However, this is an especially pretty variety on the account of its shell patterns and colorings. But the thing that we should all be most excited about here are those baby tortoises. Oh my goodness. Did you ever in your whole life see anything so incredibly cute and beautiful as those teeny weeny babies? Well, maybe my pet guinea pig twinkle but otherwise I think not. After that intense cuteness session, it's more or less impossible to go back to looking at regular grown-up sized tortoises. even if they are absolute stunners like these radiated tortoise chaps. But here we go. The radiated tortoise has yellow skin on their head and legs, which matches the brilliant yellow star-shaped markings on their shells. This patterning is much more detailed and intricate than many of the other tortoise species. These guys can grow up to around 16 inches long, and that's their shell or carpus length. They can weigh as much as 35 pounds. In the wild, they're only found in the extreme south of the island of Madagascar. However, they have been introduced to the nearby islands of Reunion in recent years in an attempt to bolster their numbers. They live in dry bushlands, thorn forests, and woodlands alike. Number 11. Spiny Softshell Turtle it's beginning to seem as though now we're just combining the various different species and coming up with new ones that have a bunch of the same characteristics in slightly different configurations. Well, we kind of are, but that's just how these things have evolved. And even still, can you believe they actually exist? I know it's a tough one to get your head around, but there we go. The spiny softshell turtle is one of the largest freshwater turtles in the whole of North America. They're easily distinguishable from other kinds of turtles because of their unusual shell, which is soft, flat, and rubbery. Distinctly unshell-like. The female adult of the species is much larger than the male and can grow anywhere between 7 and 19 inches in length, whereas the males will be between 5 and 10. These turtles are also sporting a pig-like snout, see what I mean about those turtle combos, and they've also got those lovely webbed feet for efficient swimming and hunting in the water. These gorgeous guys can be found throughout a good deal of the United States, from Wisconsin and Minnesota all the way down to Mexico. They live in a full range of watery habitats from ponds and lakes to rivers and streams, but they also prefer a muddy or sandy bottomed environment and not much vegetation. Number 10. Diamondback Terrapin Guess why these guys are called diamondbacks? Well, if you can, then 10 points to you. Yes, they have a diamond pattern on their shell. And the other cool thing about these terrapins is that the males actually have mustaches. At least they have dark markings on their skin on their upper jaws, which can, if you squint a little bit, look a lot like a rather distinguished and dashing mustache. What's not to love? Generally found along the eastern coast of the United States from Cape Cod all the way down to Texas, the diamondback terrapin 
Hennepin is most commonly discovered in salt marshes and shallow bays, and although they will occasionally travel out to open ocean, these guys actually can't tolerate the full-on saltwater experience of the sea for too long, or they may end up dehydrated. And nobody wants a thirsty terrapin now, do they? Like many species of aquatic turtles, the diamondback terrapin spends most of its life in the water, but they'll leave and head back to dry land to bask and lay their eggs. Which they tend to do after breeding season in March and April, by nesting during May and June. These animals tend to get together in massive groups in order to engage in a spot of mating in shallow bays during the early spring. That, I should imagine, is quite the spectacle. Number 9. Asian Giant Softshell Turtle Are you still with me or have you fainted from the disbelief at the existence of these turtles? Now I know, I know, it's all getting to be a bit much for me as well. Also known as Cantor's Softshell Turtle or the Asian Softshell, this freshwater species has a broad head and small eyes that are positioned really near the tip of their snout. Their shells are smooth and olive in color, juveniles of the species may have spotty heads and shells, and acne is a teenage affliction even in reptiles, it would seem. There are all kinds of rumors about the size of these animals and how big they can grow, but the actual data is surprisingly thin on the ground. Despite the stories of turtles growing to be over six feet long, the longest on record is less than four and a half feet. However, they can get kind of heavy, weighing up to about 220 pounds, and they spend 95% of their lives half buried in sandy or muddy bottoms of rivers and lakes, and only surface twice a day to take a breath. They are an ambush predator and can apparently do a good deal of their hunting of mollusks, fish, and crustaceans from their sedentary position in the sediment. Oh, such a lazy bones. Number 8. Indian Flapshell Turtle this species of turtle can be found in, you guessed it, South Asia, and especially in India. They have a uniquely odd feature of so-called flaps on their shells. These are actually flaps of skin that cover the turtle's limbs when they retract themselves into the shell itself. This is a necessary feature given that these turtles are favored for their meat, which is rumored amongst some cultures to have an aphrodisiac quality, so the creatures are often exploited for their profit-making potential. These cleverly designed creatures dwell in India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and Bangladesh, and they rather enjoy shallow, sandy, or muddy-bottomed places, and are kind of fond of stinky old stagnant water in streams, rivers, ponds, lakes, marshes, and canals. How delightful! But the thing that's super interesting and unique about these particular turtles is their mating ritual. Their courtship begins with the male stroking the female's shell, and then they nod their heads at one another, do the deed, and after a bit they kind of turn in opposite directions and the female just drags the guy around a bit before they're finally done. It's a weird ritual, but really, as humans, who are we to judge? Number 7. Yellow Blotched Map Turtle Now here is yet another freshwater turtle. Can you even believe that this one exists? Is it getting easier to believe? Do you need more evidence? Well, the yellow blotched map turtle is a medium-sized turtle with a light brown shell that has a bright yellow or orange blotch pattern, hence the name. The males of the species sport fancier, long manicured nails on their front feet like posh ladies do. Well, they are turtles, so they are technically claws, and they probably don't get them done at a salon, so it is fun to imagine. Sorry. These turtles do spend a good deal of the day warming themselves by basking in the sun. It's all right for some now, isn't it? Their preferred sunbathing spot is on a fallen tree in the water, so they're able to quickly leap into the water for safety if they sense any kind of danger approaching. That's all very sensible. And if they're approached by humans and don't leap away in time, then the males will withdraw into their shells until you just stop bugging them. But the females, well, they're going to get sassy and just bite you. Also very sensible. So, the moral of the story, don't go around poking the turtles, it's just rude. Number 6. Angonoka Tortoise 
Now, if you don't believe that this tortoise exists, you may be closer to the truth than one would like to imagine. This species of tortoise is so critically endangered that it may well cease to exist if steps to protect it are not taken quickly and indeed taken very seriously. The biggest threat to the existence of the Angonoka tortoise is the smuggling of them for the illegal pet trade. In addition to people, the bush pig also preys upon these tortoises, and to add insult to injury, they also like to eat tortoise eggs and their babies. There are estimated to be only about 400 of the species left on Madagascar, and this is the only place that they're found anywhere on the planet. The Anganoka tortoise is also known as the plowshare tortoise or the Madagascar tortoise. In many ways, they're a lot like other tortoises and have a lovely face, sport a big shell on their backs, and also have a reputation for being a bit slow. Their defense mechanism involves pulling their head and limbs into their shell until the danger gives up and goes away, you know, the usual, and they'll also have a diet of shrubs and herbs and bamboo leaves. However, these tortoises are also known to be poo eaters. That's right, they eat poo. Specifically, they eat the dried poos of bush pigs. Mmm, such a delicacy. Number 5. The Crocodile Turtle The crocodile turtle goes by many names. The Marsh Terrapin, the African Helmeted Turtle, the African Side Neck Turtle, and of course, the Crocodile Turtle. Why it needs so many aliases is anybody's guess, but for some reason this species has more monikers than an international spy. It's a relatively small species, only reaching about 8 inches in length when they're fully grown, but it doesn't stop them from smiling. That's right, these turtles have a lovely, broadly smiling expression, making them the friendliest and most approachable of all the reptiles. Actually, don't take my word for that. Even if someone or something seems to be smiling, you should never accept candy from them. Believe me, I figured that one out the hard way. This turtle lives for the most part in much of the African continent and can be found from Ghana in the west to South Africa and from Sudan to the Cape Peninsula. These turtles are another species that prefer some lovely stagnant standing water like swamps, rain pools, marshes, and lakes, but they do also sometimes live beside a flowing river. And even though they look friendly, they kind of hate other turtles and get pretty fighty if they find themselves getting too close to other species. The crocodile turtle does not play well with others. Number 4. Indian Roofed Turtle now, I don't know how you define a roof, but if I imagine a roof, I expect some sort of canopy or something that looks a bit, well, roofish. So to be told that the Indian roofed turtle is thus named on the account of the distinct roof that it allegedly has on its shell, I would imagine something that looked kind of different from other turtles. That being a turtle that was kind of wearing a roof, you know. However, this guy looks a bit like a regular turtle to me. I mean, it is a pretty turtle and all. It has some kind of pointy thing at the top of its shell, but a roof? Well, I just can't see it. Perhaps that's just me, though. What do you think? Let me know all your ideas in the comments down below, because I just don't get it. These little guys do live in a bunch of different river drainages across the whole of Pakistan, northern and peninsular India, and also Bangladesh. Like many other freshwater turtles, they're fans of quiet ponds, canals, and streams with soft bottoms, all for them to dig into, and aquatic vegetation for them to eat. Number 3. Red-Bellied short neck Turtle So, they make these things with long necks and short necks? This is completely crazy, and I don't know about you, but I can hardly believe that these turtles exist. These turtles are the first on the list that are native to Papua New Guinea and Australia, where they can be found hanging around in swamps, ponds, and rivers. Like many other freshwater turtle species, these animals need to spend a good deal of their time basking to keep their body temperature up, and the rest of the time they can be found in water foraging for food. What distinguishes these turtles 
from others is their cool appearance. They're dark in color but sport a fancy red-colored band around the outside edge of their shell, and it's certainly a fetching and fashion-forward design that will be on everyone's front covers in the new season. All silliness aside though, they do look kind of snazzy now, don't they? Number 2. The Painted Terrapin now here's a terrapin that likes to dress up in order to attract a mate. There's something to be said for taking pride in one's appearance, and this is something that these unique terrapins really embody. But only during mating season, that is. The rest of the year, they can be found in the turtle equivalent of old brown sweatpants while they lounge around on the couch all day, watching television and eating potato chips. That's right, the painted terrapin is dull in appearance for most of the year, but when mating season comes around, this dapper dresser slings on their best outfit and heads out in search of some action. They have a distinctively vivid coloration that only appears when they're getting prepared to do the deed. The male's head becomes more pale and develops a bright red stripe between the eyes. The female's coloration changes as well, but in a slightly less extreme manner with their heads just becoming kind of more red during the season. At least everyone's making an effort to put on their best party outfits though so that makes it all nice. Number 1. Big Headed Turtle This poor old turtle has a name that really means that he can never escape from the feature that he's been trying to downplay. He has a massive head but it's kind of rude to keep going on about it. The big-headed turtle, seriously, it's not a polite name, has a head that is in fact disproportionately large in comparison with the rest of its body. The guy's head is actually too big to be retracted into its shell for safety. So it has to have another form of defense to stop predators simply going to town on its big tasty turtle meaty head. It has weird plates of armor on the top and sides of its head, and an especially solid bony skull to add an extra protective layer for its big brain. These guys also seem to have been blessed with extra long tails, so lucky them. They're not very efficient swimmers, but they are very effective climbers, as they have strong claws and can even use their beak to grip and get a hold of rocks when they're in fast flowing water. Sadly though, this completely unique species is currently listed as endangered by the IUCN Red List, so they could really do with a bit more luck for the future. Now I don't know about you, but my mind is blown. I just simply can't believe that these turtles exist. In fact, I refuse to believe it, so there. What did you think about all these exciting and exotic tortoises and turtles? Which ones blew your mind? Seriously, we all need to give ourselves a proper talking to about getting those two mixed up. It's not really that hard. Turtles are water-based and tortoises are land-based. Repeat that a few times until you get a grip of it. I hope that we've not added more nonsense to the turtle-tortoise issue by mixing up any of the footage here. That would be so very embarrassing, wouldn't it? But I have no doubt that you guys will be the first to set me straight if I did. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.